Hey guys, thanks for watching. Maria Mitchell here bringing you another face painting tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to face paint this peacock feather. I've used a range of colors for the actual feathers. I've used some greens and some limes, um, even some bronze there, a bit of aqua um, and some white there just to highlight. Also added in some gold as well, just to add some shimmeriness. It's a metallic bronze and gold, which also um, gives the feathers some dimension and some shine. For the inner of the peacock feather, I've used this Fun Stroke by Global Colors. It comes in a palette. I'm not quite sure what this particular one's called, but it slots in to these amazing little palettes that you can buy. Um, so go ahead and check out the Global Colors range. This one's called uh, Rainbow Burst, I believe, this particular palette. So get your kit out and let's get painting. Loading up your three quarter inch flat brush with that particular fun stroke by Global Colors. I'm going to start in the middle of the face and I'm going to make a loop with the lighter color on the outer and the blue on the inside. Now just with the number four round brush, I've loaded some lime. I'm just going to go around the outline with that lime. Now let's paint on a curve starting from the middle of that piece, spanning right down to the edge of the eye through to the top of the cheek. Now here with some gold loaded up, so metallic gold, I am also outlining around that lime. It's a little bit hard to see with this light. Now I've just loaded up a bronze, a metallic bronze, and I'm also now just going to go around that gold. Now with a number one or number two round brush, any brush that's fine, let's load up some aqua or turquoise or any shade of blue, a lighter blue will do as well if you don't have a turquoise or aqua. And we're going to begin bringing some strokes upward, stemming from that middle lime stroke, which is the stem. So we're going to bring some curves upward and out and then up again. So upward, out and up again. So it's like a swirl coming up, outward and up again. And we're going to space them quite um, widely because we want to fill in the spaces with other colors like a darker blue. We'll start off with a green now. So I've got a green loaded on and I'm going to do exactly the same in between those spaces and fill the areas in. So essentially here I'm looking for unpainted spaces to fill in with that green. Now picking up a lighter green or a lime, we're going to do exactly the same looking for some blank spaces in between and it doesn't matter if you're overlapping others. It's okay. That gives us the effect that there are some fine little feathers coming up. So bringing them, swooping them around that big centerpiece and then up and then curving outward. Now loading up some dark blue and we're going to do exactly the same. All of these color combinations like the greens, the aquas and the blues, they will all overlap each other and they're all going to give it the effect that there's some beautiful fine feathers. Picking up 
a metallic gold or you could use the metallic bronze as well we'll do exactly the same and we're looking for some spots in between each um, stroke or just overlapping certain colors I've just loaded up a liner brush with some white. I'm just going to do some random little white strokes facing upwards as well, just to give it a little whimsical look and um, a bit of highlight there as well. And with some plain old dark brown, I'm going to outline that outer bronze color just to define the edge of that feather. And loading up that dark green again, I'm just going to flick some um, random strokes upward. So inward and outward from the edges. So inward, outward, just to complete the rest of that the top part of that feather and while I've got my brush loaded I'm just going to bring some more brush strokes outward just some smaller ones you'll need to reload your brush using such a fine number two or number one round brush but that's okay just keep reloading and you'll get some good paint reloaded on your brush as you go And there you have it, a peacock face paint for you to practice. Please let me know if you have any questions about this tutorial. If you have anything that you want to learn, please get in contact, comment down below and let me know. I'd be happy to bring out another video with something that you would like to learn. Thanks for watching. If you got something out of this, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any face painting related questions or you need something that you need clarified, make sure you comment down below and I'll do my absolute best to share my knowledge with you in the next video. I'm on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to follow me so we don't miss each other for the next one. Until next time, happy painting.